This last day's song of Zion is written by Mr. Abraham M.T. as the gratitude of the Son to his Father in heaven. But what the Son now says unto his Father, Thou who hath put all things under me, Thou who hath put all things under me, I am subjected unto thee in all things completely. I am subjected unto thee in all things completely. For thou, my Father, to be all in all. For thou, my Father, to be all in all. The meaning of he has put all things under my feet. It's manifest that he is exempted that put all things under me. It's manifest that he is exempted that put all things under me. When he did put all things under my feet, when he did put all things under my feet, Last enemy the death is also subdued unto me. Last enemy the death is also subdued unto me. But after all things are being subdued unto the Son, for thou, my Father, being all in all, for thou, my Father, being all in all, the Son himself is subjected unto his Father forever and ever. The Son himself is subjected unto his Father forever and ever. To his Father that has subdued and put all things under his Son's feet. To his Father that has subdued and put all things under his Son's feet. When we, the last day saints, leave this world and reach under the heavenly altar, the saints in paradise reach there after leaving their resurrected body. The saints in paradise reach there after leaving their resurrected body. Finally, on the other shore of the sea of glass, Finally, on the other shore of the sea of glass, all together obtain the resurrection in glory. All together obtain the resurrection in glory. Then we shall see the Father as He is. We see the Father and His firstborn Son face to face directly. We see the Father and His firstborn Son face to face directly. Then we are transformed to the figure form of the Father and Son. Then we are transformed to the figure form of the Father and Son. This will be the great amazing wonder when we reach in heaven. This will be the great amazing wonder when we reach in heaven. In the first together sitting of Father in the universe, by His taking the great power through His firstly together sitting, by His taking the great power through His firstly together sitting, by making me sit there on His right hand seat, by making me sit there on His right hand seat, the Father that is seated on the main seat makes me His firstborn Son. The Father that is seated on the main seat makes me His firstborn Son. But when the Father sits on the main seat in His own glory itself, the Father for making His firstborn Son as the heavenly regent, the Father for making
making his first born son as the heavenly regent by his making me the first born son also to enter into the father's glory by his making me the first born son also to enter into the father's glory again makes me seated in elevation on the right hand seat to reign as the second ruler again makes me seated in elevation on the right hand seat to reign as the second ruler then the father in all of his heavenly thrones makes me the permanent possessor of all the right hand seats of them makes me the permanent possessor of all the right hand seats of them then in the father's kingdom with him always then in the father's kingdom with him always he enables me to rule as his second ruler he enables me to rule as his second ruler but what the son now pronounces is kingdom power and glory thine own forever and ever kingdom power and glory thine own forever and ever but i am his called and selected one as his son as the first born of his creation but i am his called and selected one as his son as the first born of his creation will go on worshiping my father himself forever and ever will go on worshiping my father himself forever and ever when in the millennial kingdom the great congregation worships as the first born of his creations i should worship him and friend as the first born of his creations i should worship him and friend then with my full heart full might and full might then with my full heart full might and full might and with full knowledge i should worship him standing in friend and with full knowledge i should worship him standing in friend again what takes place in the millennial kingdom is when asaf jedudan and the sons of korah all sing and rejoice when asaf jedudan and the sons of korah all sing and rejoice david and the son of david leap up and blissfully rejoice david and the son of david leap up and blissfully rejoice the remaining ones will worship thee filled up with joy the remaining ones will worship thee filled up with joy what the sun here comes to a conclusion is before the one as the greatest and the most high in the universe before the one as the greatest and the most high in the universe the smallest and the last and the least is offering the smallest and the last and the least is suffering himself totally and completely before his father himself totally and completely before his father but what the son of his son to his father the who had put all things under me the who had put all things under me i am subjected unto thee in all things completely i am subjected unto thee in all things completely for thou my father to be all in all for thou my father to be all